Hello, this is Rerun Views, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to record Minecraft for free with Xfire. This is different from my last tutorial because they've updated Xfire and it stopped working, and that's why a lot of maybe you viewers can't use my last tutorial. So what you have to do is you have to have, sorry, you have to have this document here, which I'll put in the description for you all to copy and paste for later. You have to have XFAR obviously, the free version, download off the internet, whatever. You have to have Minecraft, the free or the pay version, it's up to you. I use the pay version. I'm not going to show how to use the free. You have to have Fraps. I use the free version, not the paid one. It works just as well because you're not recording actually from Fraps. So, first, what you have to do is you have to go from start computer, local disk and go to program data. What you have to do to find this program data you have to go, organ uh, you have to go organize folder and search, options, view and then show hidden files and then you'll be able to see this program data as it's blanked out a bit shows it's a hidden file. Once you're in there you go down and you find xfile. Then once you're in the xfile folder you find xfile games, open it with whatever notepad or well, Notepad++, Plus Plus. I'm opening it in Notepad++, Plus Plus. you can download that free of the website if you want it's great for scripting and editing text that's for programming and stuff like that so once it's in there, you open it what you can do is you'll probably start at the top here you can do a search find and then you can go Minecraft then what you should find so it's here, you find this Minecraft here. And what you see here is different from what you'd usually see. You can either use this one or this one down here. It won't look like this, your one. You'll want to have different Minecraft labels because what's happened is that's Minecraft for the .exe. This is Minecraft for a different one. What you have to do you have to go in here, uh, I'll put this in the description, copy and paste all of this into this one or this one, don't do both, copy and paste it like I have here, don't get rid of the number, just copy and paste that text as well as this into here. And once you've done that, delete everything else, just copy and paste that, press save, obviously I've already saved it, once you save, what this does is it uses the Java, recognizes that instead of using Minecraft EXE like this one does. And by using the Java, that's what it uses to record because obviously Minecraft runs on Java. So what you do is you exit this. Don't need this anymore. Or that. What you do is you go to Xfire, go to Tools, Options games. Wait for it to detect installed games. Now once it's detected all the installed games you'll see these. I just recently formatted my hard drive so I barely got any games on. You'll probably see Minecraft already installed. What you do is you go from automatically detect to manually detect. You use browse. Then what you want to find is you want to go on java.exe. Go to libraries sorry a computer local disk program files 86 or program files original depending if you've got 36 or so yeah 32 or 64 bit then you go down to java you find java then whatever java you have bin then you click on that and it finds the java here once you find java there apply and what you should see is this Minecraft there. What will happen is you will, if you exit and you go tools, launch Minecraft it won't happen. Nothing will happen. That's because it's launching the Java not the game. So even before you did this Java bit you had to restart Xfire just exit and stuff and then change it to Java. I forgot to add that until now. Uh, go to, then after you've put the Java and you've launched it 
obviously it doesn't work, you don't have to do that. You go to options, you obviously go to games again, then go back on Minecraft. As it's recognised Java now, you go keep on manual detect, you go on browse, and you go down here, and you'll see that it just says java.exe, it doesn't say minecraft.exe. What you do is you go here, and you'll see all these here. Hopefully you will. You should. Depending where you installed it, it will say a different directory. Mine's desktop because it's right here. What you do is you click on one of these. Maybe you only have one, I'm not sure. Don't click on the Java, you click on that one. You press open and then you click apply. And now it's applied it to Minecraft.exe. You've made it use Java and the XE. Once you've done that, you press OK. And then you go to Tools, Launch, Minecraft. And launches Minecraft. With this, with this, you should also have Fraps open down here. Got Fraps open right there. Uh, go login. If you see Fraps open inside, unless you've disabled it, I'd enable it so you know Fraps is working. And you'll see that Fraps is working up here, and you need Fraps so you can record. So if you went single player, new world. I always play it in the small screen, I don't know why I can expand it if you want. It's just uh, easier. Obviously, you see there, just walking around, Let's just expand it. Walking around, normally. And what you can do is if you press 7, you'll get friends list. So, you know, you just type everything in here. Obviously, I got no friends online, so it's no point. Uh, I've set that to the default uh, the different keys my numpad as it's easier as pressing like F1 stuff which I used to set it to cause different stuff to happen in Minecraft as well as Xfire or you can keep it to the default scroll lock stuff what you can also can do is you press the other one uh, you can press whatever scroll lock you have to broadcast and it will broadcast I'm not sure if this works online it says it has there but I'm not sure if it works and it might not show on the actual website because I don't think they have Minecraft support yet. They should do, hopefully soon. But by the looking of not updating Xfire to work with Minecraft without doing some tricky business, doesn't look like they're going to be doing it lately. So, obviously, you can broadcast, you can also record or take pictures. I just pressed take a picture there, got the wrong button. Uh, you can record. Uh, here it records it. It's pretty cool, and it records the whole gameplay. You can get rid of that yellow number there. It's up to you. It's up to you. But I keep it there just to know that Fraps is actually working. I don't think it records a yellow number. It might not. Might not sure. Uh, you can also use, if you turn off 6, uh, whatever buttons, whatever other ones you can have, you can have X firing game, you can instantize broadcast again, cancel that, you can take screenshots, and that's mainly it, all the different stuff you can do. If it's live, you can talk to other people, if it actually works on the website, it's pretty cool, and that's it. It pretty much works with Minecraft, obviously it's compared to other games like Skyrim or Portal. Uh, it may not work like them. As you know, you might not be able to use a web browser in game or music player, but Minecraft's usually a window anyway, so you can probably just play iTunes in the background. Or QuickTime, whatever you use to play music. And that'll work, and obviously just exit go on the internet down here so it doesn't really matter about the x phone live you can't obviously show a webcam but I don't really see the point of showing a webcam to an nest so that's pretty much it uh, I'll show you that if you go out here quit go down here you can see the x fire screenshots work as you can see we'll see the screenshot I took Taken some lately changes. Uh, which press that? Press OK, and you'll have the video.
the best bit about it. And you can watch a video, upload text file, upload it, and you see it there. Uh, you do get the yellow thing in the corner, but you can easily turn that off in fraps. And that's pretty much how it works, depending on my... I didn't edit my video recording, so it's probably not very good. But I don't really use X-File that much. Sometimes I use different recording software, as well as X-File. And I just format my PC, so just uh, haven't done everything to it. So that's pretty much it. You can upload to YouTube, Facebook. Oh, coming soon. Maybe not then. But description in it. Link everything. Close it. And then it comes up here. All your different ones. And that's pretty much it. So, I hope you liked the tutorial on how to make x run with Minecraft. Comment and subscribe.